Hi, this is Rob from Twisted Grain, and I got the new uh, Festool TS75 uh, track saw. And um, when I first got it and posted it on Instagram, uh, my friend uh, from William, Bill from William Patrick Customs sent me a message saying, make sure that I square the blade up before uh, I cut the track, the uh, splinter guard in the track. Um, so I kind of looked online and looked for different videos to see if I could find <coughs> um, some information on how to set this track saw up. And I did see some information and uh, it was kind of a mix of about three or four different videos that I got all the information I needed for uh, from squaring the, uh, squaring the blade up to uh, cutting the track and where to cut the track, where to start and stop. Uh, so I decided to do a video on my own. Uh, this is my first YouTube video, so uh, hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll uh, take you through step by step on how I set my track saw. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss any steps, and if I did, uh, you can let me know in the comments, or if you have any uh, better ways to do it, uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, but here we are. So first thing you need to do, to make sure the power is disconnected, and then remove the side chassis by removing the five screws. Remember that I said five screws, not four. Now that the side chassis is off, I check to see if the blade is square. You can see that it is just off by just a tiny bit at the bottom. It's hard to see in this video. I decided to use a second square just to make sure in case this square was not square. And same thing with this one, it's just off by just a tiny bit. Now we need to adjust the blade and we do this with the two adjustment screws that I'm showing here on the track saw. Now I use my screwdriver to adjust the adjustment screws to change the angle of the blade until it's totally 90 degrees, uh, checking it with my square at the same time. Make sure you do both of them at the front and the back. It is important to note that when you're putting the square up against the blade, that you're actually flush with the blade and not on any of the teeth. As uh, if your square is on the teeth, it'll give you an inaccurate reading on the uh, squareness of your blade. Now you can see it is perfectly at a 90 degree angle. I check with my secondary square, and it is also at a perfect 90 degrees. Perfect. Now we reassembled the saw by putting the chassis back on with the five screws, not four. Man, can I screw fast? Who needs a drill? Now we put the saw on the track and we're going to remove the play of, on the track. We do this by adjusting the green knobs until it's nice and tight, but not too tight that you can't slide the saw back and forth. Make sure you adjust both knobs so that both the front and the back are nice and tight, but again not too tight. It slides nice and easily now. Now we're going to cut the track splinter guard. We set the plunge depth to 3 eighths of an inch or 10 millimeters. So when you're about to cut the splinter guard, you want to make sure that you start it with the green knob on the track. The back green knob is still on the track. And then you slide it forward, cutting the splinter guard all the way to the end and making sure that the front knob doesn't go off the front end of the track. 
Here it is in action, actually cutting the splinter guard. You'll notice a bunch of the plastic splinter guards flying off, and this is because I forgot to turn on my vacuum. So make sure your vacuum turns on. <laughs> and here I'm about to do a test piece of quarter inch plywood. You notice that underneath the plywood I've put a half inch foam, um, insulation foam, so that it, I don't cut my table. I got that tip from Rob at Stone City Woodworks. Look how nice he cut it, nice and splinter free. Well I hope that was informative for you and uh, that you uh, learned something from it or uh, got something out of it. Um, again, uh, leave any comments on uh, anything that you have in there, if there's a better way to do it or if there's something I've missed out. Uh, I'm far from an expert on this. Uh, this is my first track saw. Um, so like I said, I searched YouTube and uh, found some videos and um, on how to do it. So this is uh, my experience with it. And um, yeah, so leave a comment. Again, like I said before, this is my first YouTube video. So if you enjoyed this, uh, please subscribe. I plan to have more YouTube videos and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Um, maybe some more how to's or different way I do things because uh, and give back to the YouTube, uh, the woodworking and YouTube community on uh, because that's where I learned a lot of the stuff that I do.